so here goes <laughs> just a quick note every horse is different some might need more patience and time than others also please be careful take it slow make sure you are comfortable with the basics like walk and halt before moving on to trot and canter so you'll either need a tackler's neck rope or a lead rope which is what i'm using start off with both your saddle and your bridle with the neck rope guide your horse in which direction you want them to turn and when they do so give them a reward by either patting them or giving them treats it may be small at first so your horse may only just turn their head in the direction you asked but that's still showing improvement from how you started so pat them straight away or give them a treat and build up from there you may find that at first you need to help them by using your reins that's fine every horse lands differently good boy. You did that good. once you're happy with your horses turning so now they're stepping over kind of taking a few steps you can go ahead and tie your reins into a knot so once you've done that ask your horse or pony to walk on try and keep away from the track you don't want them relying on the fence as a kind of guide that won't come in handy if you ever plan to jump them use your reins to help you stop at first your horse will soon pick up the, a small tug on the neck rope and sit in really deep means stop Do loads of circles, small circles, larger circles. Please bear in mind Dutch has known Tackless for about two years now and already knows all these commands. It will take a lot longer for a horse that has never done something like this before. Once you feel they are listening, you can go ahead and have a little trot. I felt like Dutch was listening so I went ahead and took off his bridle. I kept his saddle on at first because I needed it for the extra bit of balance and if need be I could hold on for a bit more stability. I just walked him round at first changing the rein doing circles and when I felt he was ready I asked him to trot. If you feel your horse is rushing or taking advantage of not having his bridle on, then just bring them back to walk and put the bridle back on. Only take off your bridle when you feel you and your horse are both ready. If you are both ready and your horse is listening, then do loads of walk trot transitions, trot halt transitions, halt trot transitions, changing the rein, really getting them concentrating and um, thinking about what you're asking them to Everyone do. Everyone remember that Dutch already knows all these aids when he's being ridden with the bridle. When changing the rein, try not to rely too much on the neck rope. Remember to use your leg, push them over, turn your hips in the direction you want to go, and really kind of don't rely on the neck rope. So do loads of circles, change the diameter, do serpentines, figure of eights, really kind of want them to proper be thinking and um, concentrating on what you're asking Boy. them to do. Once you're comfortable with your walk and trot, you can go ahead and ask them to canter. Do the same in canter as you have done in walk and trot circle them and if your horse can do some flying changes really get them thinking when you're happy with your horse's bridleless work Aww. go ahead and remove the saddle i'd recommend getting on using a mountain block i couldn't because there were yes. some people there so i quickly just vaulted on i'd just like to add that this horse is 17 hands high 
for a horse that hasn't been ridden tackless before, I definitely recommend using a mounting block. Please make sure they're comfortable being ridden bareback if you haven't already. Now that you're tackless, do exactly the same as you have done with the bridle. Get them used to turning and stopping, slowly building up to a trot. Remember, voice commands come in real handy here, so if they already know <coughs> roar or halt, then oh, back. you should have Please this under control. Yourself. When you feel that your horse is changing the rein, doing circles, large and small, and is listening, you can ask them to canter. Oh, where's the focus? Please make sure that your bareback riding is okay. I swear the horse is out to get me. If your horse wants to stretch its head down, let them. Every horse is different. Dutch doesn't really do that. Try to reward your horse as much as possible when they do as asked, even if it is something really small. I always reward Dutch when he stands still as a kind of thank you for not bombing off with me. So yeah. She rides like a cowboy. I hope this was okay guys. I'm so, I feel so weird doing this. Um, if you have any questions please leave them in the comments and I will answer them. But yeah I hope this is handy for you and I hope you guys have fun. Aww. He is a good boy. He is. <laughs>